Did you know that smoke detectors expire? Well, they do. They have about a seven year lifespan from when they were installed. They have an expiration date on them. Once you've gotten close to that expiration date, I'd recommend replacing them. Whether you're a year out or you're slightly past, it's time to upgrade them. We're here at a client's house and we're gonna show you just how easy it is. Firstly though, we're gonna show you how to determine whether they are expired or not. Easiest way, most smoke detectors have it written somewhere on the outside of it. That way you can see it. So I like to either take a camera, my phone, whether you need a ladder, a small ladder, a small step stool, to start recording, same as we are right now, and just take your camera up close to it and you should be able to read. I can read it from the ground. You guys should be able to read it there. Replace in 2017. We are in 2024 now. So they are, what is that? Seven years. Seven years past due, so they're a whole smoke detector past due. I'll show you how to replace them. Easiest way to replace smoke detectors, get your brand name, so that this is a kitty brand and get yourself a new one that is kitty brand so if it's fire x get a fire x if it's whatever brand your smoke detector is get one that's that brand then we'll show you what to do with once you get it now that we have our ladder down set up with something a blanket or sheet or something to prevent it from scratching the floor as well as catch any droppings we're going to take our replacement smoke detector so these are a kitty pro series the kn cope dash icca these are a battery backup they're a combination smoke and carbon monoxide they interconnect that way all three in the house, if one goes off, all three will go off. And I've been installing these for 15 years. And my favorite brand, I just keep just keep installing them. If, the, if it's not broken, don't change. But we're just replacing what's here today. So let's go up the ladder and see what we got first. First of all, I don't see any lights on on it, which means I doubt it's hooked up. Yeah, it's not even hooked up. So, not hooked up. It's not going to alert you if anything is going on in the house. So, completely useless. Now, this bracket, these are a different color. I don't know if you'll be able to tell on camera. These are white, these are just a slight off-white, like the new, they just did a redesign on them. So these are slightly off-white now, so we're going to change the bracket too, but don't be intimidated, it's easy. We'll take off our dust shield. And we'll put the old one in the box. Don't need it anymore. Now, you're just gonna grab your screwdriver. Use your number eight, Robertson, because we're in Canada. We use Robertson here. And you just unscrew partway your, your box mounting screws. These will loosen the bracket off, that way you can rotate it just push it back up and rotate it so it comes down. Also, don't need that. Now, take your new bracket, flip it up the same way you, the other one was. You can grab your connector and just bring it down a little bit and push it up, rotate it back. I like to just hold it up 
tighten up my screws. Tighten up both screws. Don't over tighten them. It just needs to be so it doesn't move. Doesn't move, that is tight enough. You can over tighten these and break them. They're just plastic. So it just needs to be snug so it doesn't move. Now, take your smoke detector, grab this. It's just your battery connector, battery compartment, um, lockout tab. That way the battery that they shipped with it is disconnected and not discharging. You pull it out. Push test button. Appuyez sur le bouton d'essai. And you can see now we're getting a blinking green light. Once it blinks. Maybe not. Anyways, we've got this that pulled off, thrown in the garbage. Oh, there it went. Now you just take it and hold it so that your connector and the back match and plug in your connector. If it will go. Why? What is your deal? Interesting. Why? Apparently, this is one is different than that one, and the connector doesn't work, which is strange. The other two I did did. Let me see. This, will it plug into this? That one does fine. They're the same connector. They're exactly the same. this one plug into here. It does. Interesting. It's tighter. Let's try this again. Yeah, it does not want to go in there at all. Interesting. Okay, because it will not go in there, we're gonna have to change out the, change out this, the pigtail. Again, not super scary. If you don't wanna work on it live, go to your panel. We are at our panel. These breakers are all our sub circuits or circuits go to everything in the house. We got our cooktop, we got um, bedroom plugs, bedroom plugs, the steam humidifier. This panel is installed upside down and it's a 200 amp. So if I were to disconnect the power to it, we'd come down to the bottom here. This is your main breaker and I would just shut it off, flip it into the off position. Now everything in the house is dead. Everything in the house is off because the power coming in from the bottom here would be off and then everything else would be safe. Now that we have the power off, we're gonna work on changing out this pigtail. We'll grab our screwdriver again, 
we're going to take off this plate. So we're just going to loosen the screws off. Give it a rotate and take it down. Now, I just do them at the same time. That way it's hard to screw it up, even though everything's color coded. So we've got red. We're just going to take the red wire and undo the old one, undo this marette, take it apart, take our new red wire, and marette them together. It doesn't come apart. Then we're going to take down the next wire which happens to be black. We're going to undo it, take the black off, take the black from our new pigtail, and just splice them together. Now, lost wire, we're going to take it down, untwist it, and disconnect it. Now we can just take our old pigtail on our garbage pile. Take the neutral, white to white, twist them back together. Now coil them back up. Into the box. Take your bracket, install your bracket. Nice and snug. Now you take your smoke detector and again just match it up, push it together, and then push it up, twist it clockwise till it stops spinning. Now is when you go turn your breaker back on. You would come back and you would see that your smoke detector is lit up green, showing you that it's working, ready to go. I really like these new Kitty smoke, smoke detectors because your battery is right here. Has a little release here that you push down and then the battery comes out when you're ready to change it. Take your new battery, it'll tell you right, right here, positive is the small, negative is the big. So you just put it in like so and you just push it in till it clicks and then you just push it up till it clicks. Battery's changed. These will tell you when they're low on battery and the battery needs to be changed. It will give you a small chirp and it will say low battery in English and then in French because we're in Canada. That's all there is to it. Now you know how to check if your smoke detector is out of date and how to replace it if it is. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. We'll catch you guys on the next one.